You're looking live at the NASDAQ, which fell 32 points today, or 0.23%, and closed at 14,226. And you could see that it's a 5.4% uh, above its 50 simple moving average. And it traded down to its a 10 EMA today and closed a tick above it, you know, four tenths of a percent. And that's fine. Uh, it's doing exactly as you would expect after this big run here in November. It traded up almost to that high of uh, uh, 446 and reversed on Wednesday. It had this uh, reversal uh, inverted hammer candle that we talked about yesterday. It usually you know, means it starts a trend the other way and it followed through today. So it was expected that it would pull back today after that candle yesterday. How far down does it go? I don't know. Has it come to the 21? Maybe. Maybe just uh, now at the 10 and tomorrow is December 1st. And we start uh, you know, trading higher once again. But uh, there's no doubt this isn't a power trend. And um, with the 10, the 21, and the 50 stack, higher closes here. <laughs> And um, it, it would take a lot of work for it to destroy this power trend. I'm not even thinking that way. This is just doing exactly what you would expect it to do. Uh, now, eventually, it's got to take out that four, um, 14446 and make a higher high. But it was definitely rejected yesterday, followed through to the downside today and uh, with volume. So it is a distribution day. But, you know, you're going to get those from time to time. And if you look at the weeklies, um, you know, you had these um, three hammer candles in uh, last week was the holiday shortened week. And now this is looking like a three weeks tight here at this uh, close was uh, 14,125, then uh, 250 and now 226 today. So, uh, you know, it, it looks fine to me. It looks like it's doing exactly what you would expect it to do. Anyway, we do not trade the um, indexes. And what's driving the indexes is the Magnificent Seven, and they're selling off, which is a good thing because it's showing, um, you know, divergence and distribution. So the rally spreading out to other areas, smaller stocks, like you saw the IWM was up today and trying to, you know, bully through its uh, 200 simple moving average. So that's a good thing. And I'm going to show you some smaller and mid cap stocks that are doing better. You know, you can't always, um, we don't want, you know, just the Magnificent Seven to, uh be driving the index. I mean, it's going to impact the index because they're so large, but you can have the index down and still have uh, quality uh, stocks. And uh, it just it's just rotating into other areas. That's all. Just a simple rotation. This is Apple pulled back to its 10 today and even closed higher. So uh, doing nothing wrong. Microsoft did the same thing, pulled back to the 10. I was hoping it would come back and show a little more weakness back by that 366. And it still might. Um, give it some time, but um, you know, close out the month of November just flat on the session. Uh, Meta was a little uh, weaker than the other ones. It sliced its 21. If I can zoom in here, you can see that it sliced its 21. And I don't know how many of you own Meta, but it, you know, it still looks fine to me, even though it closed, you know, a tick below its 21. Um, you know, you got to expect pullbacks. These things aren't going to go up every day or every week. Uh, Google, it looks a little worse. Why? Well, it sliced its 50. I mean, these are pretty tight moving averages too, but it did slice its 50. So we'll see how it responds to that. It could certainly rally back through it, um, but it did slice its 50. So, uh, if, you know, if you hold that, uh, you have to wait till tomorrow to see uh, how it closes for the week. Amazon pulled back to the 10 you know, and found support. And what we want to buy is bounces. Right now, we're just getting the dip. You don't buy the dip, you buy the bounce. And uh, so today was not a day to buy because they're not bouncing. They're still dipping. So you got to wait until they um, stop dipping and buy the bounce when they find support, when institutions are supporting. This is Tesla had the, uh, I don't know, cyber truck unveiling today or whatever. It's down after hours. I'm not sure why. I'm on a Twitter spaces today, so I have to make this uh, quick today and close this thing out soon. Uh, NVIDIA is another one. I, I like Tesla setup, by the way. Uh, this one still, you know, it, it, it slices 21, which is not great, but it's still got this full wedge type action here. Um, and uh, yeah, maybe it comes down to its 50. I don't know. 
So we just got to wait and see on these. Like I say, you got to wait till institutions come in, start buying these and they start bouncing and uh, don't buy dips, buy bounces. Um, yeah, the 50 is 450. Wow. So if it came down to 450, that would still be, yeah, within range, 5% range of the 476. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to move on. And I've got to go to uh, pockets of strength because CrowdStrike and Palo Alto, these stocks are, uh, I'm really surprised. Uh, CrowdStrike added gains today. It started off, if I go to the five minute, you can see I dipped at the open and then came and rallied up. You know, it sold off again and then buyers came in and really pushed it up higher today. So CrowdStrike, the strength there is really impressive. If you own CrowdStrike, I see no sell signs. The only thing you know you would do is trim a little bit, raise stops. You don't want it uh, trading below that uh, bar right there of 218. But yeah, that looks that looks good. Um, the other one was Palo Alto Network showing strength. Um, yeah, I mean, it'll probably have uh, trouble with 300. But man, this, this, this is an impressive breakout here. And just steady marching higher and the volumes increasing day after day. Uh, Palo Alto looks really good. Uh, Zscaler, a couple of people were asking me about Zscaler. There's nothing wrong with Zscaler. It's just having trouble with that uh, 200 level. It has a gap to fill there at 194.11. So if it comes down here, maybe trades down to its 10, you know, find support and then bounces. That could give you an opportunity to uh, uh, get in if you're not in Zscaler, but it's doing nothing wrong. Those are really strong stocks. I'm going to go to the drug stocks. Lily, this thing's going sideways. It could do this for a long time, folks. This will, this will wear you out. Uh, yeah, it was it was, uh, it was was flat today, essentially. Big volume, but just flat. You know, um, I guess you could say the shorts can't push it down. The longs can't push it up. It's just going sideways. Novo, the same thing. Just going sideways here. And they can do this for a long time. So uh, that kind of action can wear you out. Um, TGTX, the biotechs were up on the merger. AbV bought um, Immunogen today. Um, and that stock was really, um, I got to show you that stock here. This is TGTX, one that we had on our watch list at 1140. Uh, right here was the buy. And this is just trending higher. You can see the moving averages, 10, 21, 50, above the um um, the relative strength is above the industry line. So that's a, that's a good sign for TGTX. I was going to show you Immunogen because I don't have the patience for this. I bought it back in the day last spring when it had this short stroke pattern, had this big move up. I, I showed this thing so many times. I think people are getting sick of me showing it uh, <laughs> because it had this amazing week. It was up 144%. And then the next week, it didn't give back anything. In fact, it was... um. It was up 3%, but this short stroke pattern usually leads to higher gains and it did go up, but then it just traded sideways for a long, long time. And that's the kind of stuff that wears me out. Obviously bought out today and is up by 82% this week. So uh, congrats to the longs there. So Immunogen uh, bought out by AbV. Anyway, um, I want to show some of the um, medical product stocks because some of these stocks are starting to behave a little better. Like um, a lot of the beaten down stocks are you know, coming up, making these uh, like stage one patterns and breaking out of them. So you have to be aware of that. This is a relatively inexpensive stock and uh, trading about two times sales, uh, low PE or whatever, but um, you know, it's just been sold off and now um, it's starting to show some strength. So that's the kind of stuff that um, you don't want to look for in these stage one bases. This is Shockwave. It's a monster stock. So it's sold off a lot. And now it's getting um, a little cheaper. <laughs> it's only got a $640 million market cap. Um, yeah, it's just trading less than one-time sales. But, um, you know, um, I don't know. Actually, it's, uh, no, it's, let me let me correct myself here. Uh, it's got a um, six billion market cap. Yeah, so it's trading at about. It's still trading about uh, six times sales. But like I said, these are the um, stocks to watch as they're coming out of uh, uh, stage one bases. I know you don't want to buy anything below that black line, the two hundred. But um, this is where the rotation is going into. So I just wanted to show you some of these uh, stocks where they're getting uh, some love. Um, obviously a firm is another one 
as I randomly go through these um, smaller caps, there's a 10 billion market cap stock um, that, you know, just showing strength. It was up 11% two days in a row yesterday, up 4% today, tacked on gain. So um, just that's a good rotation out of the mega, mega cap tech stocks, the Magnificent Seven, the Divine Nine or whatever, and into other stocks. So even though the indexes are looking bad, um, there's some stocks that are doing well. I've got to get to the retail stocks because the retail consumer was supposed to be dead. There was a recession and these stocks, you know, Decker's is, doesn't care. Um, it's just going higher. And that's a beautiful trend there. Pulled back the one time on a downgrade. And um, I guess that's, you know, the only time you're going to get be able to buy that thing is when it, when it pulls back to the 10 right now. Uh, so another one is Lulu. These guys broke out of a base, trending higher, just like Decker's getting supported. The 10, uh, fantastic company, great management. Abercrombie, they reported last week. And, um, you know, once again, supported moving averages, looking looking great. Um, this is uh, AEO is flat today, but it sold off after earnings and then rallied back through its moving averages. And uh, if you look at the weekly here, and that's still getting you know near a buy point, near a pivot area. Um, so I like that one as well. Uh, Crocs, I got to show Crocs. This is another one of those, a smaller cap, six billion market cap, and, and coming out of this stage one base. I think I pointed out earlier that 100 level. This is 101, and this is 142. So that's just when it broke through there. That, that's definitely an area of interest. For me, but it's got to get through the 200 now. So it has resistance there, but that one looks good. Skechers looks good. Uh, just powering higher. Uh, this is another one that's relatively inexpensive. Uh, you know, one times uh, sales. Uh, yeah, Skechers looks good. Um, I win, I win, another shoe stock. <laughs> um, just forming this uh, stage one base here. It undercut the prior base and forming this base here. So uh, the, the, um, Shark Ninja, the retail stocks are doing great. Shark Ninja's uh, IPO uh, pulled back to its 21. Found support, Chipotle, another one. This is setting up in a base. You can take a look at this bigger base here. And um, it's flat for the week, but uh, that one still looks good to me and, and actionable. Ulta reported after the session tonight. Um, and you can see this is a stage one base is what I'm talking about here. Nice 10% move as they make these bottoming patterns and start ramping through. Now, I, I don't like buying stocks below the 200, but um, this is where a lot of the uh, money's flowing to these uh, smaller stocks. This is a 20 billion market cap, so a mid cap stock. Um, and uh, yeah, it should be, have a good day tomorrow. It's up 10% after uh, earnings. They have, it was, um, you know, they beat lowered expectations. I'm just going to do a random walk here of some stocks that I like that are looking good. This is Quanta. It's been on our ready list. Um, yeah, showing strength. This is a 27 billion market cap and, you know, some money's flowing this way. You can see the uh, the volume uh, fix. This is a smaller cap stock, uh, you know, nearly 7 billion um, set up in that base there. Uh, 192 you know, broke out, then pulled back. But don't be afraid of these pullbacks, you know, back to the pivot point because, um, you know, 50% of stocks pull back to their uh, pivot point and, and go on to uh, make further gains. So um, that one looks fine to me. Uh, Vertiv, this was upgraded by a couple firms today. They raised guidance yesterday, Goldman Sachs, and I think Credit Suisse um, uh, raised their price targets today, but it had an inside day today. You can see this pullback to the 21. This has been on our ready list. It just, it's a little frustrating. You want to see this thing make new highs, but it's kind of going sideways. Big volume today. So, you know, maybe next week this thing will start, you know, get going. Uh, SMCI, I don't know what happened to this one. This one's crazy. It's trading crazy. It's down uh, 261. I saw it much lower after hours. Um, I don't know what happened if there was news. Um, I saw it down to like 254 or something, but... It's at 261 now, um, down 4% on top of a 4% loss today. So I have to dig into that for tomorrow morning. I'll have something. And then Spotify, another one that, you know, is on our uh, leading stock list. And this is just a uh, trending higher along the 21. Anyway, that's it for me today, except for I lied. I've got to talk about IOT. 
I'm a moron. I'm an idiot. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I put this on our ready list today and uh, <laughs> I failed to realize it had earnings today. Thank goodness. It's up 11% after hours. Uh, pretty strong earnings here. And you can see, you know, why I like this stock as it's forming the, these bases. I like stocks coming out of bases or pullbacks to moving averages. So that looks pretty good right there. Uh, UI path. This is another one that I wanted to put on our ready list, but I actually cut myself because I knew it had earnings today and it's up 13% after hours. So that looks good for tomorrow. And another software stock that's up 15% after hours, Elastic that reported. Anyway, I'll have all this stuff tomorrow morning. Thank you for watching. I've got to run um, at MC Stock Charts. We never give up.